Hey guys, what's up? It's Barcelona291 for 7 here, and today I'm going to be making a video about FIFA 18 ratings. So, if you don't know what FIFA 18 rating, or what FIFA 18 is, it's basically a soccer game like NBA or MLB, like those electronic art games. Basically, it's a soccer game, and they have player ratings for, you know, how good players are and that stuff. So, I'm going to be doing, like, a little bit of a reaction video on them ratings. So, let's start. Bernardo Silva. Um... I think that his dribbling, 89, might be a little bit overrated, because, like, I don't know. He, he was pretty good last season. That's why Man City brought him in, but I don't know. Maybe it's too much, but 84 seems reasonable, you know. Um, Let's see, Kadira for 99. He, I think, well, he doesn't play last season a lot, so... I think 84 might be a little bit reasonable. Maybe 82 to 84 was mine. Like, whatever I think about him. Uh, I don't know. He does work hard when he does play, but he d is very injured, like, a lot of the time. Mane, Sadio Mane, um, very good player. Went to Liverpool this summer. And I think he's someone that can improve... Im not potentially win the Ballon d'Or, which is basically the best trophy you can win, or, like, personal thing you can win, or, like, the best. But I think he'll be one of the star people, like Aguero is right now. He'll become really well. Like, he's lightning fast. Danny Alves. So, I don't think I've told you guys this yet, but FC Barcelona is my favorite team. And everywhere is, and he Alves, Danny Alves, he used to play for them for eight years. Moved to Italian team Juventus, and then now to PSG, which is a French team. I don't know. He doesn't seem to go down or up. I think eighty four might be a little too less. Maybe eighty five to eighty three, eighty three, eighty five. I mean, okay, Marco Asensio. I wish Barcelona signed him because they're he's playing for the rivals Real Madrid. He is something. He's really good. Very good with long shots. I think he's 84, maybe 85 would be a good rating for him. Um I would put maybe more uh shooting on him on him like maybe 82 shooting instead of 79. And maybe a little bit more pace, like 80. And then, like, less passing for, like, I don't know, 81. He's a good player. That's nothing I can doubt. Radamel Falcao, um, let's see. He was very good last season. I know. I watched him play for Monaco. Um, he scores a lot in the Champions League, and he helped Monaco win the title. So, 84 seems about fair. Icardi. So I don't watch Serie A too much. I have n I don't watch uh Inter Milan, but what I hear is that he's really good. Like he was seen as a me uh, next Messi. He's like you can't can't play for Argentina national team because they have Dybala, Messi, Higuain, Aguero. But he's young, like, he's so young that he'll be up with Dybala and them for the future when Messi, uh, Aguero, and Higuain retire. So, Deli Alley, people say he's super good. I've seen him play. This guy's an engine. He, I think, FIFA underrate him. He should be, like, 80 pace and a little bit more physical. He's pretty tall, six foot two pretty tall he's should be 85 86 i know that he and harry kane have talked with fifa so trying to get their uh ratings up but i think that he's a really good player so burned leto um i don't know i haven't seen him play before i don't watch Bayern leverkusen but i think he's very good there's a lot of good german keepers but manuel Neuer just tops them all out but I think that's about fair. Marquezio, um, 
he didn't play as much as I wanted him. I used to really like this guy, Claudio Marchisio. But 85, maybe 84 to 83, around there. Because, like, he's going down. He's pretty old. Around, like, 35, maybe. Something. I don't know. I don't do math. Let's look it up. Marchisio, if I can spell. I did spell right. He's 31. Okay, well, not as uh, old as I thought. Rufier, um, I think that's about right. I've seen him play. He's good. Mm, I don't know. He's not the best, but he's not the worst. He's pretty good. Eklai Goodwin, he was injured a lot. He's a great player, but gets injured too much. Um, I don't know. I think that's a good rating for him. Uh, Subasic, same. Uh, Monaco, he did well for them. Like, really well. Uh, Varane. So, he's fast. I think he should get, like, 83 pace. Because... He's very fast for a defender. And um, his defending, he does really well. I mean, to start for Real Madrid, you have to be good. So, Real Madrid, props to you, Varane. Uh, Gilk, or Gilik, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but um, I know he helped Monaco in their way to the semifinals in uh, the Champions League and to, the fo- like, to win the League 1. So... Yeah, uh, Barzagli, so Juventus back four, BBC, uh, Buffon, Barzagli, Bonici, and Chiellini. He's like 36, Barzagli, but still doing it. I don't know if he'll decline next year, but he's still doing it. He might be 86, he should have been. Company, uh, 85 seems right. Because Vincent Company played well, played didn't well, like, that's a good rating. Victorian was not... I wish he was used more. He was used, uh, like, a little bit. But I wish he was used more because he's a great player. Um, I think he will be used more with Jose Marino. Um, Yannick Carrasco. He helped Atletico Madrid with um, uh, Antoine Griezmann a lot. So I give props to him. 88 pace, 87 dribbling seems about right. Maybe a little bit more on shooting. Um... Mark Andre Ter Stegen for me Barcelona. Um, he was super good. He got he was the second best goalkeeper in La Liga, uh, after Jan Oblak and maybe Kaylor Navas. At, I think third, but like Ter Stegen was up there. I'm not trying to be biased. Like this is pretty good stats for him. Um, let's look at the. That was I think yeah. So. Vertonghen, um, I think that's a little bit too much, maybe not, uh, he might be 84, but he's a good player, very good player, uh, I've seen him in the Premier League, and how Di Maria, I don't think he's rated enough, he's very good, um, he's quick, he can dribble, uh, he can, I think his shooting is way too low, I'd argue for that, um, but, if Messi wants to play against with him, then I think that he should be like 86. Like that, he's a very good player. Felipe Luis, um, good player, plays for Atletico. Um, I think his defending's a little bit better. He needs to discipline himself. It's not in the stats, but he gets too many red cards. Insigne, um, Lorenzo Insigne, pretty good. Helped Napoli do well in Syria. Um, as Pilaqueta, so. I think he might be the, uh, uh, he's a left back, but it's also a center back, and I think that he was highest rated, but, like, for a left back, but, I mean, he's pretty good, he's a somewhat, he used to be all-rounded, but, like, now he's just more defending, Pjanic, uh, Miralem Pjanic helped Juve in their title and to the finals, I don't know if, I think he did start in the uh, final view for Champions League, but I don't know. Alaba, or Alba, Jordi Alba plays on the left flank. He and uh, Lucas Digne went back and forth, so they're pretty good. Uh, Kaylor Navas, I don't know. Uh, after Iker Casillas left Real Madrid, they were left with him, and I think he's done more than enough. And uh, Blaise Matuidi, 
Uh, he's done. I think he moved this year from PSG to Juventus. He's always an engine, working hard for his physical, and um, his defending. He's he's very good defending. Casemiro. So I was surprised when I saw this. Um, eighty five. He should be like eighty six maybe, because like I don't know. He just. I'm not really sure how to put this, but. Um, he he does a lot of long shots, like long shot goals, and eight sixty eight. That's just not a lot. Like he's very physical, very defensive, but he can shoot. So I think seventy six is a good one. Um, Lacazette moved to Arsenal from Leon. I think that was a good move for Arsenal. But yeah, I think that's some good stats for him. All rounded. Um, Miranda, I don't see him play. I just don't. I've heard that he's good, but he's old, and I know he's a good player. Pepe, um, very good player. Real Madrid moved to Besiktas, I don't know, like a Turkey League team, and uh, weird first name, or like name, but he calls himself Pepe. Very good for Real Madrid, needs to keep his red cards to him, like, just keep his feet to himself. Uh, uh, David, David Alba, I think he's very good, uh, all-rounded, maybe more on shooting, because he's very good at free kicks, uh, when he helped out, uh, Bayern Munich to do a, like, a 5-4 comeback to RB Leipzig last year, um, Petr Cech, I think he's one of the best Premier League keepers of all time, um, just because he's been there for a while, he's done the job, I think, that's a good rating for him. And he's getting old. He's decreasing. But at Chelsea, at his prime, he was good. Uh, Javi Martinez, pretty good. Uh, he's a nice, strong defender. You always want to get a good defender like him. Marco Royce, if he could stop getting injured. I used to love Marco Royce. If he would just stop getting injured, he'd be a great player. Uh, maybe, uh, I think. 87 shootings a little bit too much. Uh, maybe like 84 because he's not the best at shooting. Diego Costa, I think he was very, very good last year. Should have been 87. Uh, he should get more pace because he's not that slow. He can run when he needs to run. Socrates, um, I think that's a little bit too much for him, but... Uh, his passing is a lot better than 55, I can tell you. Uh, Ribery, I think he's gonna go down next year because of his age, and, like, he's not performing as he used to, but he still was good last year. So, now we have to go all the way to 60 to 41. David Louis, I'll speed things up because I know this is gonna become really long. David Luiz, very good. He can take free kicks. I know that. So his shooting should be around like 69 maybe. Um, very good defending and physical. Busquets had not the best season last year. But, I mean, his pace. That's kind of like not nice to him. His pace is 40 when it should be a lot more. Rodriguez... I don't think Real Madrid are just the right team for him. Bayern Munich look like a good team. Maybe Barcelona if they need to. But I think Bayern Munich are the good team for Rodriguez. He's a very good player. A little bit less pace than I thought he would get. But Alderweide, uh, Toby Alder, Weirled, I don't know how to pronounce his real name. But um, I know he's a lot better than this uh he's a, i think his pace or not his pace his passing is a lot better but he's a good player overall uh Karim Benzema i think he should have gone at 87 to 88 just for the fact that he was part of the Champions League winning side and he got a lot of goals so like i think he should get a lot more than he got Cesc Fabregas great part for Chelsea winning the title um uh, Isco should have got, I think, a little bit higher than Benzema, but like 88 around there. He, I think sometimes people give Ronaldo too much attention, but Isco can, like, do stuff for you. Like, a lot of stuff. Kane, Harry Kane. Um, 
I think he will come second or third in winning the uh, Premier League Golden Boot or something, whatever it's called. But he's a great player. I love to watch him play. He's never going to move from Spurs. Um, Alexandro, uh, let's see. He is probably the best left back, maybe second best. But he did a lot for Juventus, and I don't know if he's going to Chelsea. Actually, he's still at Juventus, but I think he might stay there for one more year. Uh, Felipe Coutinho should have um, moved to Barcelona, honestly. I would love to see him in the La Liga, but he. I think Liverpool have a good chance of winning because they still have him for one more year. I think he's going to move next year, though. Um, I think that eight, 78 shooting is a lot less than he should get. He should get, like, 85. Uh, Rajan, Rajan 9 Golan, I think it might be a little bit too high. He was good, but not that good. Dries Mertens, maybe 87. He was very good, scored many goals. Uh, maybe he's 87, 88. He was good. Romelu, well, Romelu Lukaku, some story. I thought he was going to Chelsea. He went to Man United. Great player, um, very physical. Thomas Muller didn't have the best season, but still good. Samir Handanovic, I don't know why he's rated so high. Like, I don't ever see him do anything good, but he's rated high in this. Iniesta, yes, he's da- downgrading, but he's still very good. 87 passing. I think his, sh- uh, his shooting and uh, just be a little bit better. Uh, Rakitic, I think he was very good last year. Maybe 88. Uh, he should have a little bit more pace because 65 is not what he is. He is like 77. Maybe No, not like that. 74. Um, his dribbling's a little bit better than it is in the game. David Silf, very good. I think Manchester City's player of the year or player of the season. PK will be, I think... I don't know. I think it's a little bit honest. Maybe 87, maybe 88. Very good last season. Um, did a lot for Barcelona. Uh, Hamshik maybe an 86. I don't know. I think he's a little overrated this year. But, yeah. Um, okay, that's it for that area. What else? Oh, God. That's a lot of more categories than I thought. All right. Uh, Erickson, I think he's the best player for Spurs, and people say Harry Kane, but he really helps them out. Um, I don't know, I think 80, or 75 pace and 78 shooting is a little bit less. He should get more for that. Uh, Arturo Vidal, he should, I don't know, like, he's an all-rounded player, maybe a little bit more on the pace side. He's very good, actually, and, uh, Marcel, that's the worst picture of Marcel I could you could find like what <laughs> magician I think his hocus pocus stuff is awesome but he should have more pace he's a very quick left back probably the best this season sadly <laughs> but Cavani very a lot of goals I think second most maybe third most um I think he if he was in a bit or like a more league he would win the golden boot but nothing could stop Leo Messi <laughs> Lionel Messi my dude but very good I think his shooting might be like 86 and more pace Paul Pogba um very good all rounded more pace I think and more defending he's a lot better than you think he is he might be underrated cuz like oh he's 100 million euros or something like come on just give him a little slack um Kante, only player to win back-to-back Premier League uh, titles. Helped Chelsea a lot. Marco Verratti. Marco Verratti, I wish we signed. If only for Barcelona. He's Barcelona DNA. Uh, Jerome Boateng, very, I think he's getting older, but he's still one of the best. Um, he should have, I think, like, all right, his shooting's a lot, like, really low. I don't know. I haven't seen him shoot. But, uh, I don't know. That just seems really low. Ozo, um, I love this player. Probably one of my favorite players, Mesut Ozo. Um, I was hearing rumors that he was going to Barcelona this summer, but I, that was never going to happen. He's going to stay at Arsenal and go to someone for free probably next year. Jan Oblak, probably one of the top competitors for, like, the best um, 
uh, best goalkeepers. I think he's very he's young and probably will be the best goalkeeper in a few uh, few years. Um, Ibrahimovic, Zlatan, the big Swede, the Taekwondo master. There's nothing to say but say Zlatan for him. I mean, he's slow, but no one cares. He can do everything else. Uh, his shooting, I think that's very good for him. Aubameyang, this looks like a good step for him. Like he's pat, he's fast and pacey, and he can shoot. Yaris, uh, Loris, I think he's a little bit overrated. Like he's good, but he's not that good. Like I think Jan Oblak is a lot better than him. Godin, don't know what's up with this haircut, but I'm not gonna question. Uh, <laughs> I think he's very good, a little bit more on the passing and physical side, but he's pretty good. Uh, Matt Tummel's pretty good. He betrayed by uh, uh, Dortmund for uh, Munich, so I don't know. He His passing and dribbling, I think, is a little bit underrated. Silva, Thiago Silva, I think he's recognized as one of the top. Like I remember when I didn't know who he was, I thought he was like, the best defender ever because of his ratings. I went based on FIFA ratings, but he's not that good. He's going to decline. I, I think a good like rating for him is 86, maybe. He's a good player, but not that good. I am Robin, like, I think he's a little bit overrated. He should be, like, 87 because he's very fast and stuff, but he's going to decrease, like, this season. Leonardo Bonici, one of the BBCs. Um, yeah, not Bale, Benzema, and uh, Cristiano, but the real. I feel like this is the real one. Uh, Leonardo Bonici, I think he was the best, maybe second best for the, for their defense. Um Maybe third after Buffon. I don't know. Tiago, uh, Tiago Alcantara. Uh, I think if Barcelona didn't let him leave, we'd be like Real Madrid, but better. Dybala, this is the player that I want. Like Dybala and then Marco Verratti, but Dybala, Paolo Dybala, I just want him at like Barcelona. He just, I don't know. I don't. I feel like he really is a cam. He plays like Messi. He's a little bit taller, but that dribbling and that's like deadly stats. I think his passing's a little bit better than it actually shows, but he's good stuff. Um, Griezmann. <laughs> he's a good player. That's all I have to say. Like his passing, I think that's the right amount. This is a good kind of show, and for him. Courtois, I think he, I used to think he was, like, really good, but, like, I think when you compare him to David De Gea, that's, like, overdoing it. He's good, but not that good. Aguero, I think he's underrated. He can do anything you want him. You tell him, he does it. His passing and physical, like, the low stats, I think that's okay. Maybe the defense, like, that's, woo. Uh, Gareth Bale. His defense might be a little bit higher, but he's quick, and he's... Uh, threatening when he's not injured. Chiellini, um, yeah, he's pretty good, very good player for the BBC. De Bruyne, I think he should. He's very good. Seventy million euros, I think. It was a lot of money for him for Manchester City, but I think it paid off in the long run. Um, Sanchez, who wanted to go to Man City, he's gonna probably play out of his contract. I don't know. He's a mess, but he's pretty good. Um, left mid is probably not his position. A striker, left wing. Now, Buffon. I think he's 39, maybe 40. He's been at Juventus for a while, and I don't know. I really wanted him to win the UEFA Champions League last year, or last season, or a few months ago, because he has won everything with Juventus except for the Champions League. He would be a great player. Like, who doesn't love... If you don't love Buffon, then you don't know who you are. He's a, You can't not love him. Uh, Modric, very good. I, uh, I wish... Well, I don't... I Just because he's on Real Madrid doesn't mean I love him. Like, I love this guy. He's a great player. David De Gea, don't know what this haircut is, but... <laughs> Uh, he's the great keeper. I think he really is the second best in the world. And in the top ten, I think it is next. Yep. I'll go a little bit in depth with these. Higuain, actually, like I think the ball is a lot better than Higuain. He was paid. He got a lot of money. Like 
I think most expect in expensive a South American right now. But I think he's an eighty eight, maybe eighty nine. Uh Cruz ninety. I think Modric should be a ninety as well. I, I don't know if he is. But he and Cruz are like really good. I think Modric's is a little better, but Cruz is a lot younger, so Eden Hazard Used to be, well, after his season with, I think, Jose Romerino, when he got sacked, uh, he's gotten a lot better under Antonio Conte, so, yeah. Sergio Ramos, I hate this guy, because he does so much for Real Madrid, and I hate Real Madrid. I don't know, but uh, his defending and stuff, like, that's good. I think his shooting should be a lot better, because he does a lot of header at last 90 minutes. Um... Robert Lewandowski, uh, pretty good. I think that Pierre Aubameyang, uh, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang should have done like by two more goals, because I think he's better. But Robert Lewandowski is still one of those top players. Manuel Neuer, woo! I love this guy. He's my favorite keeper. Uh, I don't know how can you not like him unless you're like Borussia Dortmund or something. But this is like good stuff right here. Um, he's gonna get old, but think David De Gea will be next. Luis Suarez, I love this kid, or look, this guy. Um, he's like 30, I think, but he still does the job. Him and Messi, best friends. Neymar, I lo used to love him, now I hate him. Uh, he got, went to PSG. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Um, but that's some good godly stats, like... Look at these. This is some pretty good stuff. He will be the next best after Messi and Neymar or Messi and Ronaldo. Era. All right, let's talk about these. Um, I don't really like this. Honestly, I hate this. Like, I think that FIFA is biased. Messi is supposed to be better. And ask anyone, and if you take a national poll. People will say Messi's better. Like, honestly, I don't think that he should win the best or Ballon d'Or this year. It's only because of, Nate, like, the UEFA Champions League. That's why. Messi has brought his team, Barcelona, take them from the depths after the Guardiola era, and he's been lifting them ever since. Ronaldo has had Zinedine Zidane, who's really good, but, like, I just don't know. He's overrated. He's still good stats. Maybe, like... Uh, his sh uh, pa uh, pace isn't that good, or his dribbling at least. His dribbling's not that good. It should be like an 87, because he just does step overs. Messi, his dribbling should be 96, 97, because there's no one better than him. As it says, highest, very few defenders are able to come close to him. Like, no one can get to that. Uh, his pace hasn't, uh, I think FIFA 16, his pace was like 90, or 17, it was like 90, but now it's 89, like his pace hasn't decreased, Ronaldo has, um, his passing, alright, this is something like I would argue with, his passing has to be like 88 to 90, because I think he's one of the best passers in the world, you see his visions and stuff, that's the best, <laughs> that's the best. So, I think that Messi should be 94, Ronaldo should be 93, or, he should still be 94, but, um, I think Messi should be the best, and so, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, uh, if you want to see more videos around, like, FIFA stuff, I'll post them, but, um, thanks for watching, bye. Yeah!